Because God said, when you're involved with my business, I'm going to be involved with yours. Amen. My God, y'all don't hear me here this morning. Yeah. Yeah. How about I? I feel like I got to stop. I feel like I got to quit, man. How about I? Yeah. I, I hope yeah. you all hear yeah. the love. Yeah. I hope you all hear the love that I'm doing this with this morning. Yeah. And I hope you just don't shut me down. Yeah. Yeah. This is an assignment from the Most High God for yeah. genuine love. God said to me, Charles, I am shifting genuine love. And you got to be bold enough to trust me. Yeah. I have raised general love to be prosperous. I told you that from the beginning. I raised you up to be millionaire. I told you that from the beginning. How can I respond to people who won't respond to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, shut. You know why God asks for seed? Y'all have five minutes? Yeah. Every time a preacher stands before you and asks for seed under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, that's because God has a harvest for you. I know all the time I say bring a seed and sow a seed into the word. That's different. When I say to you, I need everybody in the church who can to bring me $50, there's a reason for that. Yes, yes. Glory. Amen. When I say to you, bring a seed into the word, that's different. Yeah. When the Holy Ghost have me say to you, listen, I need everybody who can to come bring me a $50 seed. There's a reason for that. When God anoints me to ask for a specific number, it's because there's a harvest in your future. Yeah. But God will not violate his, his, his law. He said, I'm trying to get you to walk with me. Amen. That's why I put in the prophet, to let the prophet tell you, I see I have a harvest in your future. But I in my eternal law, I can't give harvest without seed. Yeah. 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 I want to give you the harvest. I love you. Yeah. But I have a law in place. Yeah. As long as the earth shall remain. Amen. Time and Am I teaching this right? Yeah. Yes. He says, as long as the earth is here, if you want to have a harvest, there has to be a seed. I'm not going to give it to you because I love you. I'm not going to give it to you because you cry. And also, it puts it on you, D. You can decide what harvest you want and put your seed in the ground. But when the preacher asks for it, it means that the harvest is already there.
I'm going to do what I can. I need y'all to pray for me. I need y'all to pray. I need for y'all to pray for me. I'm trying to shut this down. But I, I, I just want, if you can understand me this morning, say amen. amen. The Holy Ghost is telling me to tell you, I am shifting you. Amen. I am moving you. Amen. I want you to grow up. I want you to mature. I want you to use the system. I want you to not walk in your flesh. Your flesh is going to fight you on tithing. Your flesh is going to bring up your bills. Yes. Your flesh is going to bring up what they need it for. Amen. Your flesh is going to bring up all these things because that's, that's the way you've been taught yes. to think. Yes. Yes. But now you in the kingdom, what you do is just respond to the word. Amen. You can't respond to how you feel or what you think. You'll never do it. Yes. You got to just do it because I'm obeying God today. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're in here with me, say amen. Amen. If you're still in here with me, say amen. Amen. God told me to tell you, and in five, I'm done in five minutes, and then you and I got to decide whether we're going to obey God or not. But I tell you what, many of you believe everything you've heard me say. And many of you are in church right now because you believe what you heard me say. And many of you are walking in peace in your life, and you have confidence, and you're not ashamed. And you're not, come on, I say amen. amen. Because of what you heard come from the mouth of this apostle. Right. And I want you to hear me just like you heard that. I want you to hear me for your increase. Amen. I want you to hear me for your prosperity. I want to make you understand. It does not matter if you only got $10. Tithing is a practice. It's not about the amount of money. It's an act of obedience. It's a sacred act of honor God. If you get 50 cents, you need to make sure that 5 cents go to the Lord. It's a, if you honoring God, God gives the sacred things in a funny way. Amen. You don't like to be touching stuff. Yes, yes. That's right. If the Lord said, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm, what do you think he think about his tithe? Oh, oh, that is He good. told you. You cursing yourself. Yes. I don't, I'm not getting this on Holy Ghost. No, Here's what God says. If you can hear me, say amen. amen. If you believe in this ministry, say amen. amen. God says, if you don't tithe, you're making a choice to walk away from me. Yes. Yes. You're in the same covenant with me, but we have no fellowship. Amen. And until you return to me, I'm not going to respond to nothing you say. Amen. I know you can't believe it. I know it's hard to receive. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. I'm down out of a higher. I know it. I know it's Shando. I know it. But I got to do it. Woe be unto me if I preach up this gospel. I'm going to walk with those five people who are going to believe God this morning. I have a heart. I, I know, I know. God said this now. Father, the Holy Ghost. By the Lord of the Holy Ghost. I am right here waiting. Mm -hmm. Behold, I stand on the door and knock. Yes, yes. I'm waiting to get back involved with your situation. Yes. I cannot violate my own law. Yes. I cannot violate my word. Y'all don't hear me. God said, if I do it and you're disobedient, I'm violating my own word. I'm making myself a liar. Amen. Yes. I made up my mind to do this this morning. Yes. And we're going to keep walking down this road from this day forward. Yes. We're going to be a people who will, who will obey God and give it, but especially those who do ministry. What do you have to lose? Here's my question. Is it just me who can't hear this thing? Y'all can hear me clearly? Stand up, please. My God. Mm. My God in the morning. Harabahade. Kandabahoshe. Hallelujah. If this, if this been a good message for you, say amen. Amen. Here's my question to you. Those of you who got paid this week and who got paid last week and still have the money in the bank. You didn't make it to pay less yet. <laughs> I know you had planned to go to McDonald's with that tithe at the church. I'm going to make them children some turkey. Yes, yes. Someone say amen. amen. God says, I need this ministry to return to me. Amen. And not even with me, instead of just writing a check with what I think our income is, I need to check it and make sure it's to the penny because it's holy. Yes, 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 yes. I always give more than what we should give, but that's see, that's my flesh. Amen. The tithe is ten percent. Yeah. Let the rest of it be a seed. Yeah. Yes. The Holy Ghost is talking 
Yeah. 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 Oh, he was talking to somebody here. Horrible Hosha. God said, return to me. Yes. Miracles and wonders and signs. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, the Holy Ghost is saying that's why all the blockages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know your business. Yes. But I just heard something. In your life, there's something blocked. Yes. Yes, sir. Come on now. I don't want you to let your neighbor's hands go yet. Because the Holy Ghost is saying, this is a family moment. And I want them to feel this, Charles. I want you to feel me. You in church, gentlemen, love. Yes, yes. There's no reason why you should not give your tithe. Yes. Even if it's only a dollar. It's not the money. It's the obedience. Yes. 